Welcome back to Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'm Burning Dog Face. I don't have the slightest idea how to get that guy. That didn't work. Ow. God damn, I'm almost dead. Oh, good. Sorry! That's weird. I mean, I'm glad, but... There's always capture beetles before. From that one, anyway. Maybe it's always capture beetles if you're almost... I mean, always, uh, onks if you're almost dead. I mean, I'm not full of capture beetles, that's not it. That's weird. Well, let's give this a shot. Hey, Buttman, over here. I'm talking to you. For God's sake, the first time I actually want them to attack me. This guy's stuck on a corner. No, no, you get to die. Maybe this is the land of the dead. Maybe that's why everything is fucking skeletons. Hello? Oh, shit! Gotta be careful this guy doesn't spit on me. Do 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 I mean, I made fun of it in Darksiders 1 when they had their own little jingle for that. But I suddenly realized that it really lacks punch if it doesn't have any kind of acknowledgement at all. Oh well. Take that! Leave that up there. Excuse me. I'm not gonna try the uh, the, the blowpipe because I seem to recall it said it only works on explosive enemies, which is weird because you don't need to do that to the slim burbles. Maybe I should go back and look at that. I mean, oh fuck it, I'll give it a shot. seem to give a shit about that at all. Off I go, then. I have no idea how to catch that guy. None. Thank you, sir. Thank you for freeing me. It's been so horrible in here. I must get back to my husband as soon as possible. He must be out of his mind with worry. Lady, you'd have no idea. Please come back with me. I'm sure my husband will be eager to thank the hero who rescued his beloved wife. I was gonna get some heals, but okay. The hero has returned! You rescued my wife! How can I ever repay you? I didn't realize when he first met that you were an apprentice of our friend Imhotep. He said that he wants to speak with you in the Sun Shrine. He also asked me to give you this. I seem to think it would prove to be useful in your quest. You got an Abydos Pass Card! This official document gives unlimited access to the city of Abydos. Nice. Thank you! It brings tears of joy having Keta back home. Thanks again, stranger. Thank you. I will never forget what you've done for me, stranger. You have a place in my heart. 
See, I thought she was gonna, like, open a hidden door or something. I didn't realize that, uh... What am I doing over here? Ah, uh, scroll all the way back up. I do have an attune eye. Are you the, the guy who wants to race? Yes, that's where, that, that's where this is. So stick one of these over here. At last I can see the ocean again. What was that Greek myth about the witches who shared one eye between them? Just passed it back and forth and looked at stuff. Cool four hundred dollar it is. What? Oh no! Could it be that all beaches look the same? Uh... I mean, that's where the explodey guys come out. Solved. I thought I was up there. There was a beach over there, wasn't there? Oh, that's right. The only building over there was that really weird purple guy who uh, only takes onyx scarabs as payment. I'm gonna be really pissed off if I need to pay every time I want to go in there because otherwise I'm just throwing some away for no reason. Oh, there's a save point. Yes. First things first, let's go drop all this shit off. Where am I trying to get to? Hmm. There, I think there is a teleport thing in uh, Sunshine Island, or, but uh, walking inside will almost certainly trigger a cutscene, and then it might go over to the mummy. That's what the, uh, the slammy ones look like, I think. The slammy ones. Still don't know what's up with that. Y'all can go fuck yourselves. I've got your cousin Leroy in my pocket. Proverbially speaking. I can get both of those at once. Eh, didn't think so. Oh, oh. Oh, damn it, I hit it the, the top, too. Well, now I know. I guess I need to get the big wallet or whatever the local equivalent is. Need health, and uh, the other one has a snake in it. So, knowing my way around this place pretty well. Don't mind me. Just making use of this uh, teleport. <clears throat> Probably gonna have to come right back anyway, since they just gave me that pass. So 
what I'm gonna do is, uh, after I drop all this shit off in the museum, I'm gonna save and then head right back. So that I don't, you know, spoil the moment. In uh, terms of the actual words, spoil, not in terms of, like, plot spoilers. You know, when they tell me, go over here and do this thing. I should have a very... quiet distaste for, uh, sequence breaking by accident. Mm, like this, for example. What are we to do? The mayor has been taken ill! I wonder what could be wrong with him. Soon won't even be strong enough to wear the sacred crown of Abydos upon his head. Monsters, electrified water, and now the mayor! What a terrible state of affair this is. Of affairs this is. If only there was a big, strong man to comfort me. <laughs> well, hey, he was, you know, equally oblivious earlier. Ha! Sup. Oh, you'd better believe it. Where do I even begin? Let's start with this guy. I missed him earlier. A big bull, partial to swinging his hammer around. I thank you so much for your donation, sir. The former glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. Have I done this? Another another cobra, okay. Already have one in our collection. Thank you for the offer though. I wonder if I can sell that then. This? An electric armadillo, the most shocking of its species. Why well, thank you so much for your donation, sir. The former glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. Alright, just skip that part, I guess. Giant, uh, green giant worm. It always trips me up. Green giant worm. A big worm with big teeth. A half brute. A shockingly aggressive monster. Oh, that's a terrible pun. I didn't even get that until I was done. It's because they're the ones that electrify themselves, you see. Well, the other ones. Do I have this one? A knives cat! Not the friendliest feline around. Mummy Chihuahua. A mummy Chihuahua. A pet that's now undead. Creepy. A mummy worm! Spits fireballs to ward off attackers. I noticed. Speaking of which, let's skip down a bit and hit the sunflower. What the fuck is this? I've never seen anything like it before! No, not really. A sunflower, a dangerous spore-firing plant. Uh, I don't want to waste my uh, fire armadillos by accidentally pushing the button. A sharp beak! A rare specimen of this battling creature. I mean, they're people. I don't know that, you know, putting them in a museum is kosher, but whatever. Skull Swordsman. Skillful warriors with ghostly attacks. I have just realized you have now donated 20 monsters to our collection. You are a most generous benefactor to this museum and the cultural life of Abydos as a whole. We would like to express our gratitude and acknowledge your efforts on a Monster Hunter Certificate, Silver Class. It demonstrates the appreciation of the city for this most invaluable work. Thank you. Achievement unlocked, Hunter Silver Class. Given by the Abydos Museum for collecting 20 monsters. Look at this, this time it works properly and none of my friends show up. I used to think it was because, oh, you know, I had friends online when I started the program, but that is 
demonstrably not the case sometimes. Skull Worshipper, a powerful ally to the forces of evil. He wasn't so tough. Yeah, Smiling Burble. A Smiling Burble! Uses its horns in a haphazard manner. Born of the hat. When I was a kid, I thought the phrase born of the, sp of the silver spoon in his hand was literal. I was really weirded out by the idea of how odd the rich were. Spike Spider! Well known for dropping on their prey. They just can't stop eating faces. And the tree creature. A tree creature! Don't seek shade under this tree. Why, thank you so much for your donation, sir. The former glory of our museum is beginning to be restored. I have. What? No, I... Am I going to have to go back and get that thing? I swear there was one in uh, the temple. Fuck. Where I accidentally jumped down and found it, and then that was the first time I ever used the, uh, the, the, the Ka dart teleporters. Oh, God, I don't look forward to that. My goodness. Skull Swordsman. Highly trained in many swordsmanship techniques and deadly opponents. Proof that they dwell within evil. What? They can summon a ghostly skull which drains the soul's essence on contact. And for some reason he appears to be using uh, a Japanese katana. Skull Worshipper. These guys are real pieces of shit. You should not hang out with them under any circumstances. Just be really rude to this one in particular for some reason. A powerful ally to the forces of evil. Skillful and ruthless fighters. The Skull Worshipper is precisely that. Their dwellings are said to be adorned with, sp with skulls by those who have lived to escape. What? They have the skulls of the people who escape them? That... Oh, they're said... By the people, yeah, the, the ones who escape are the ones who said that. Okay, okay. I could have parsed that a bit more clearly. Sharp beak. The sharp beak's slender form makes it a lithe warrior, and they are well trained in swordsmanship techniques. Dark magic is rumored to be the cause of this unusual blend of lizard and bird. <laughs> Sorry, I would have written it down if I thought this one would come up today. But, uh, Yornick left a comment saying, That fellow at the end, referring to this guy, He's a lizard, all right. It's just, he's been raised by birds. Speaks fluent crow and passable, if accented, dove, too. <laughs> Crab hands. I think I already had this one. A combination of humanoid and shellfish makes up this monster found throughout the land. The gold armor plating adorning crab hands is permanently welded to its body and enchanted to allow for growth. Yes, that's right. I remember that. Being confused because uh, welding requires metal to metal. Knives Cat. A much faster and more deadly relative of the crab hands. Possess a remarkable sense of hearing. While humanoid in shape, you only have to see a knives cat hunting to appreciate where the feline half of its name comes from. I mean, I thought it was because it's very clearly a kitty, but whatever. Uh, I think I already had that one. Yes, that's right. Green Giant Worm. I said it right the first time. The largest invertebrate creature known, it is also one of the few carniv carnivorous worms in existence. 
Green giant worms uniquely fortify the entrances to their subterranean tunnel networks, affording some forewarning as to their presence. That is true, they were covered in green smoke. That's right, the monsters get unmurdered at the end of the day. Oh! I didn't realize the living ones are also here. I know that the ancient Egyptians, uh, well, they thought cats were like the messengers of the gods or something. So they considered them sacred. They actually mummified cats, but I don't know if those are just like temple cats or if they're just like, oh, my cat died. I guess I'll, you know, mummify him and preserve his remains for all eternity. Here we are. Mummy Chihuahua. A, a Chihuahua is a smooth-coated dog of diminutive stature. The mummification process makes their undead counterpart very aggressive. A popular pet of a former pharaoh, they went to the tomb with their master. Armadillo. These peculiar waddling quadrupeds normally walk along at a slow pace. Their hard shell doubles up as a weapon when spinning along the ground. Certain popular children's tales claim their origins as the union of the hedgehog and tortoise. They seem to have just added the uh, electric one to the, to the same uh, platform as the fire one. Hmm. Mummy worm. An undead invertebrate which spits out harmful balls of fire. Rooted to the spot and unable to burrow, they are sometimes kept as sentries to ward off unwanted visitors. Well, then how do you keep them from shooting at the good visitors? Ugh, fucking brain there. Spike spider. Perhaps the smallest member of the spider family, oh god. It is swifter than most thanks to its strong legs. The spike spider is a pack hunter and in groups they will surround their prey and attack from all directions simultaneously. I am really surprised it does not mention the brain thing. Sunflower. This perennial plant has been known to live for many centuries. I don't think that's what perennial means, buddy. Immobile for most of the time, it springs to life when threatened and fires off three spore attacks simultaneously to virtually guarantee harm befalls any potential threat. Jiggle it. Tree creature. The tree creature is one of the few plants known to have magical abilities from birth. I'm just trying to work that sentence through in my head. Given that, uh, I don't think it qualifies as birth when plants come into existence. Hmm. <clears throat> Stretch. It distracts any potential threat with a mesmerizing glow of light which emanates over its head while underground roots rapidly burst through the ground to attack. Well, you're not new. Come on, the timer already went. I need to finish this up. Half-Brute. The name Half-Brute understates the nature of these aggressive two-legged monsters, predominantly found in desert regions. A descendant of the Full Brute, a despicable lizard now widely acknowledged to be extinct. Uh, got you. Smiling Burble. This little critter is one of the less harmful members of the Burble family, having lost the explosive properties into indicative of its species. Their powerful horns can shatter rock, although their lack of coordination lessens the threat this would normally pose. I forgot how big that guy was. Big Bull. The hammer-wielding monstrosity is renowned for its bad temper. Such as the size of its weapon, it acts as a shield without the need for a defensive pose. That should about do it. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. When, uh... Do I go back and check out the jewelry? I 
I'll just go back and look at the footage and see what I got. But, um... Yeah, see you next time when we, uh... Head back to Heliopolis and find out what Master Imhotep wants. Later!